Crying Baby Hacks, four secrets to instantly calm your baby, even when you're exhausted. The sound of a crying baby can pierce through even the deepest sleep, leaving you feeling helpless and exhausted. It's a universal experience for parents, and those first few months can be particularly challenging. As a new parent, the sound of your baby's cries can be both heart-wrenching and utterly exhausting. Those tears can leave you feeling helpless, drained, and desperate for a solution, whether it's the middle of the night or the middle of the day. But fear not today. We will share tried and true secrets to soothe your little one and restore peace to your household. Understanding your crying baby. Parenthood is a beautiful journey, but it can also push you to your limits, both physically and emotionally. That's why it's so important to have different hacks and effective strategies to help you go through those trying times when your baby just won't stop crying and you're at the end of your rope. Four crying baby hacks. One, the power of motion. Have you ever noticed how your baby seems to instantly settle down when you start rocking or swaying them gently? It's not just your imagination. There's a scientific reason behind this calming effect, and it's rooted in the very beginnings of your little one's existence. For nine blissful months, your baby was cradled in the warm, comforting side of the womb, gently rocked and swayed with every movement of your body. It was a constant, soothing motion that calmed them into a state of peace and security, a rhythm that became ingrained in their very being. Now, in the bright world outside the womb, that gentle rocking and swaying can work like magic to transport your little one back to that cozy, familiar state. It's like hitting the reset button on their emotions, triggering a deep, primal response. So, when those tears start flowing and your baby seems inconsolable, hold them close to your chest, supporting their head and neck with one hand, and start swaying gently from side to side. Or, if you prefer, Try a gentle up and down bouncing motion, keeping your movements slow, smooth, and rhythmic. As you rock and sway, you may notice your baby's cries start to subside, replaced by soft coos and contented sighs. That's the power of motion at work, tapping into their intrinsic calming reflex and reminding them of the security and comfort of the womb. But don't stop there. The power of motion extends beyond just rocking and swaying. Sometimes, a leisurely stroll with your baby in a stroller or a gentle car ride can work wonders, lulling them into a peaceful slumber with soothing, repetitive motions. And if you're feeling particularly adventurous, why not try a little dance party? Put on some soft, soothing music and gently sway or rock your baby to the rhythm. The combination of motion and melody can be a powerful tool for soothing even the most stubborn of criers. Just remember, no matter which motion you choose, the key is to keep it gentle, rhythmic, and consistent. It's all about tapping into that primal, soothing reflex and transporting your little one back to the comforting familiarity of the womb. Two, the shushing solution. If a librarian or a cranky moviegoer has ever shushed you, you know just how effective that simple shh sound can be in commanding silence. Well, it turns out that the same principle applies to calming, crying babies, and it's one of the easiest and most effective hacks in your parenting arsenal. The shushing technique is based on a simple yet brilliant idea. Loud, continuous shushing mimics the sound of blood flow in the womb, creating a familiar and soothing environment for your little one. It's like a sonic security blanket, reminding them of the comforting rhythms and noises they knew so well during those nine comfortable months. To try this hack, hold your baby close to your face, make gentle eye contact, and let out a long, drawn-out shh sound right next to their ear. The key is to keep the shh sound consistent and loud enough to drown out your baby's cries, but not so loud that it startles or overstimulates them. At first, your baby's cries may intensify as they become aware of this new, strange noise, but trust the process, keep shushing, and before long, you should start to notice their cries softening, their body relaxing, and their eyes growing heavy with the soothing power of your shh. It may seem counterintuitive to make noise to stop noise, but trust us, this hack works like a charm. 
It's like hitting the mute button on your baby's tears, replacing the distressing sounds with a familiar, comforting rhythm that taps into their deepest instincts. And the best part? The shushing solution is completely portable and requires no special equipment. Whether you're at home, in the car, or out and about, you've always got this secret weapon at your disposal, ready to be deployed at a moment's notice. Combine the shushing with gentle swaying or patting, and you've got a powerful weapon that can often calm even the most inconsolable baby. Three, the swaddle snuggle. There's nothing quite like the feeling of being wrapped up in a warm, comfy blanket, safe and secure from the world around you. It's a sensation we all crave, a primal need for comfort and security that's hardwired into our very beings. For babies, that need is even more pronounced. After spending nine months in the ultimate security blanket, the womb being thrust into the big, turbulent world can be a jarring and overwhelming experience. That's where the magic of swaddling comes in, a time-honored technique that can work wonders in calming a crying baby. Swaddling is the art of wrapping your little one in a snug, comforting blanket, creating a relaxing cocoon that mimics the sensation of being back in the womb. It's like giving them a big, comforting hug. The key to successful swaddling is to wrap your baby tightly enough to mimic that familiar, secure feeling, but not so tight that it's uncomfortable or restricts their breathing. Start by laying out a thin, breathable blanket in a diamond shape. Then place your baby face up in the center. Bring one corner of the blanket over their body and tuck it under their back, then repeat with the opposite corner, creating a snug, restful cocoon. As you swaddle, your baby's cries will start to subside, replaced by a sense of calm and contentment. The swaddle helps to recreate that familiar, secure feeling they enjoyed in the womb, while also preventing their startle reflex from waking them up and disrupting their peace. But don't be afraid to get creative with your swaddling techniques. Some parents swear by the burrito method, tightly wrapping their baby from head to toe like a relaxed little bundle. Others prefer to incorporate gentle rocking or shushing for an extra dose of soothing power. The key is to experiment and find what works best for your little one. Every baby is different, and what calms one may not work for another. But with a little patience and a lot of love, you'll soon find the perfect swaddling technique that leaves your baby feeling safe, secure, and utterly content. Four, the white noise wonder. Have you ever tried to sleep in a completely silent room? Chances are you've found it nearly impossible. The slightest noise, a creaking floorboard, a distant siren, the hum of the refrigerator, can feel like a jackhammer, shattering your peace and disrupting your slumber. Well, the same principle applies to babies, who are used to the constant comforting sounds of the womb. For nine months, they were lulled to sleep by the gentle whooshing of your heartbeat, the muffled noises of your body at work, and the soothing ambiance of their cozy little home. So when they're thrust into the quiet, stark reality of the world outside, even the smallest sounds can be jarring and disruptive, triggering tears and fussiness. This is where white noise comes in. This simple and effective hack can drown out those disruptive sounds and create a peaceful, soothing environment for your little one. White noise is a constant, steady stream of ambient sound that mimics the whooshing and muffled noises your baby heard in the womb. The beauty of white noise is that it can be as simple or as high-tech as you like. For some parents, running a fan or using a white noise machine does the trick, filling the room with a gentle, soothing hum that lulls their baby into a peaceful slumber. Others swear by white noise apps on their phones or tablets, offering a range of soothing sounds from ocean waves to gentle rain. The key is to find the right volume and let the steady stream of sound work its magic. Many parents prefer the power of white noise to calm their crying babies, drown out disruptive noises, and help their little ones sleep more soundly through the night. Also, bright lights can overstimulate young babies, so you should dim the lights or create a low light environment. White noise is entirely portable, so you can take it with you wherever you go. Whether you're at home, in the car, or out and about, you can create a comforting environment for your baby with just the touch of a button or the flip of a switch. So the next time your little one starts to fuss and cry, consider using white noise. 
It's a simple, effective technique that can help them feel calm and secure, blocking out distractions and recreating the soothing sounds of the womb. Combine it with gentle rocking or swaying, and you have a powerful way to calm even the fussiest baby. Trust us, white noise is a secret weapon every parent should have. Parenthood is a beautiful, rewarding journey, but it also comes with its fair share of challenges, and few challenges are more daunting than a crying baby who just won't calm down. With these four proven strategies at your disposal, you'll be ready to handle even the most persistent crying episodes, bringing calmness back to your home, even when you're feeling exhausted. Keep in mind that every baby is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. The important thing is to try different approaches, remain patient, and rely on your parental instincts. With some creativity and affection, you'll discover the right methods to comfort your baby and minimize their tears. So take a deep breath, adopt these hacks, and know that you've got this. While the journey of parenthood may be long and winding, the rewards of seeing your baby happy, content, and calm are worth every sleepless night and every tear-filled tantrum along the way.